welcome back to another Behind the Visor here at Plymouth Dirt Track. Uh, last Saturday, one of my favorite tracks uh, to race at. And this is for the A-Main. Uh, we won the heat race, got us in the invert. We qualified a, a little behind uh, where we normally are. So got to, had to do the work in the heat race, got the work done, puts us starting 10th in the main. And so the very first thing that uh, I'm wanting to do as soon as I get fired here is get the motor warm again because it is a little chilly and also run in the top. The track team uh, graded the top and bottom and uh, they made the top come in and it was it was good. So I just want to get up there right away and start packing down my line. Alrighty, so here uh, we're going to be getting the one to go. Pretty much we have the usual suspects starting in the top 10 that are really, really quick here. You know, we got uh, Cox House on the inside of me, we got Ryan Marshall in, in the 7, we got Radar right in front of me uh, in the 11, you know, Rossman, Sivia, Zelski, um, Taters, Klomko. So I'm feeling that we're going to. We're gonna have a pretty decent feature, pretty decent start here. Uh, the only wild card here is Bryce Andrews is starting on the pole, so I'm not really sure what he's gonna do. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit of room here when we get the green, uh, just in case something stacks up in front of us, like we don't need to destroy a car on the first lap. So, you know, kind of throw it in there a little bit, um, and they call yellow. Um, we had a spin coming into the green uh, but further behind us. The track was hard packed. But at the same time, it was still very, um, it had a bite on the very bottom and all the way up at the top. And usually when we come here and race, we usually race with the 410 wing cars. And tonight, uh, it's us and pretty much all fender cars. So a different track surface than we're used to. And usually here, it builds a big, big cushion. There's, there's a cushion, but it's just more wet than uh, tacky or tacky and wet but not it's not curving so that is something that we're all kind of having to get used to here um, because every time we've ran here it's been with the wing cars so we get the one to go here and the pace is kind of picking up a little faster than what the pole sitter usually wants to start at so I'm kind of in that weird awkward throttle position and the car's kind of jumping around it wants to go and I go right through the slick hit the gas and no forward bite no side bite so now I'm just like crap gotta drive it in a little bit deeper than I wanted to just keep an eye on uh, radar and the uh, 11 car right in front of me um, just kind of loading down here just feeling out the top uh, just you know, I told the team the way that I set the car up, I was like, we're going places, we're either going to the front or we're going to the back. Because uh, the bottom looked decent, but I didn't want to set the car up to run down there, I wanted to run the top. So, right here, I figure if I can get down to the bottom, I will, until the top line kind of comes in. But now that I see Marshall and the black car kind of jump up in front of me, I, I think I'm on the right path here and running the top. So at this point, I'm like, all right, we're just gonna go to the to the top. Uh, I'm not gonna try to run the bottom. Um, we got this white car, Austin Hansen underneath me. The, the white car with the blue tail, it's Sam Cox. You know, all these drivers are very, very car control, very clean racing. So I can kind of just focus in on my line up top here. Um, my brother started behind me. I'm waiting for him to kind of poke a nose in there um, because he's pretty good at the top too. So, again, just running some laps, you know, just trying to to get more comfortable, drive it in deeper, and, you know, the way that the cushion is, you can't, you can't lean on it. You can drive on it, but you can't lean on it. As soon as you try to lean on it, you'll just have so much momentum uh, that you'll just kind of get up in the loose stuff and hit the wall. Um, but, yeah, so 
again, starting to, now we're starting to make a little bit of progress here um, against the bottom line. And uh, I'm feeling that we're really good. Now I'm just having to watch some of these guys that are up front, making sure that they don't want to do a, a lane change last minute here because uh, now they're starting to get passed by cars on the top. So Jimmy Sibby is right in front of me. And, uh, you know, I'm just, it's kind of hard to, see the cushion when you get this close to the guy in front so you know you're almost driving by braille um, just feeling uh, where the where the cushion is in the right rear so typically don't like to run this close I like I'll try to throw a slider um, but with the cars running on the bottom I, I can't throw it and you know I messed up coming off the two there got off the cushion a little bit and uh, the red car pulls pulls away from me uh, so it's bad that he pulled away from us but it's good because now I can see where the top is again and actually start to really really drive it in there again um, you know not really looking over my shoulder I trust the guys around us and uh, and yeah you know right there I think we're already halfway so the race is clicking off pretty fast here um, getting you know like I said every lap just getting more and more confident there it feels like if I go a little bit too hard in a four I lose speed coming off but if I drive it gingerly, I'll lose speed too. It's like it's really fine to get the drive without uh, going through the cushion coming off for for the way we had the car set up. But right here we got uh, you know this, we got Clumpo here and Alan you know, Hafford. So I'm waiting to see what Chris does because he might jump up, but he doesn't. So I was like, all right, I can drive it in harder here um, and got some momentum get him I'm like all right sweet now we're gonna get uh, Alan coming off of two or at least again uh, going going into three we'll get him and uh, thinking we're sitting pretty and the yellow comes out the yellows this year for us seem to come out sometimes most of the times at the wrong time <laughs> I've had a few times where it, uh, it benefits us but most of the times I feel like it's you get all hard work done and uh, the yellow comes out so I'm pretty sure I'm behind Alan here in the 38, but uh, Chris keeps coming up, which is fine. Uh, you know, when you're not sure, challenge a spot because uh, that way the scores can look back and make sure everyone's in the in the lineup as well. Um, but here over the receiver, they say that, you know the 14s ahead of the 70. So sweet. Um, so there's you know Cruz also down to one and two so you can't really want to pass there so I'm just trying to get by and he keeps challenging the spot which is fine like I said um, but now I'm trying to get down here uh, so that I, I'm not even close to the, to the safety crew um, but yeah so I'm seeing that car that's up in the wall and I was like you know he probably messed up getting into one and just kind of like blew through the cushion. So I'm like, do I stay running up there? Do I change it just a little bit to be on the safe side? But I'm like, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna rip the lip, the whole feature. So um, yeah, just you know, kind of keeping the tires warm, um, and also just trying to make my next move. Like I just went by t uh, Alan Hafford and Chris Klumpo on the top. So I'm thinking. Allen actually might go to the top now on the restart, and he's probably going to be on the on the red car of Jimmy Sivia. So I'm not going to be able to throw a slider because Jimmy will be there when I get there. So I'm just kind of like, do I go down to the bottom? Or do I go to the top? And uh, I say no. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make that decision at the last possible second which way I want to go. Alrighty, so we just got the we're getting the one to go here. Uh, throw a tear off out you know when it gets dusty sometimes the dust sticks to the tear off so you know I just want to make sure that on this restart you can see perfectly clear and uh, we're coming down the back chute <clears throat> and like I said I don't really know where I'm gonna go until I see where where uh, the car in front of me goes so you know we get the green here and he's on the red cars left here so I'm like he's going to the bottom so I'm gonna wholesale to the top here and that is pretty good. Didn't lose a lot of ground. You can lose some ground um, 
on restarts going right to the top right away if the bottom has a little bit of bite. Um, but now, you know, I'm losing a little bit of ground, so I'm going to charge it in there a little bit harder. And coming off of two here, uh, Alan, he's going to go to the top, threw me off a little bit. The camera doesn't pick up, but Chris is right on the on my left rear, so couldn't throw a slider like I wanted to. Um, so now I'm like, well, if I have a little bit of space between uh, the 70 and the Allen here, I'm going to throw it, and I do. So I just throw it as hard as I can, just so he knows I'm going to the top. Get to the top, he turns it under me, gets next to me. Um, very close race in there. So now I got some momentum built up, so just drive it, wait, and I'm anticipating maybe a slow slider, um, but there was not. So now, sweet, I'll, now I can focus on the, catching the two cars in front of in front of us. Um, you know, we only have a handful of laps to go, so I think that's going to be out of the question. But the way that the car is set up, you do have to drive pretty hard. So again, just trying to keep the right rear on the on the tack up there and just drive on it, not lean on it. Um, and, it's, and it's working out really good. Um, you know, this fat front car's been pretty quick uh, the last couple nights. So looking forward to it. All right, we get the white here, and I'm like, I think I can get Bryce here on the bottom. And without junk in the car, so I go into three a little bit with more steam, and uh, he does me a favor and gives me a little bit of room and come to the checker. So after all that, we went, um, started 10th, went back to about 14th, 15th, because um, I didn't want to give up on the top right away, and uh, we came back all the way to finish 6th. So that is behind the visor from Plymouth. Pretty, pretty quick moving feature, which is always good. Night was great too, so always a pleasure coming to, to Plymouth and, and race. Um, this was a special night for the crates. It was 1200 to win, and the other fat fro car um, won it here, Ryan Zelski. So, congrats to him. He's made appearances in some other videos too. <laughs> There's one in particular. Um, but, you know, we're I think we're cool. We're, we're cool. I mean, we, we talk, so. Um, that's good but um yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this you know uh please follow subscribe like our stuff on crane racing on all your social media platforms tiktok instagram facebook youtube um check our website out craneracing.net and uh hopefully uh see you at a track very soon peace out girl scout Yeah, no, it was. I just stopped because there were so many people. I know.